So I'm going to do one of my TikTok photography inspired um, shoots. It's gonna be pink candy. We're gonna go to Five and Low and get some party supplies, bubble gum, uh, stuff like that, and then go get stuff. <laughs> So here is Five and Blow. I didn't even use these candles, which was kind of dumb. And the flowers always look so good. I just love this aisle so much. Oh, it's my favorite. And then here's Gemini. It's her first experience with bubbles. And if you look, you can see her huge overbite. And this is just her first experience with bubbles. She's a silly little baby. She likes to just try and eat everything. And she goes, stop. So for makeup, I first of all was out of frame for the most part, but I got some magnetic eyelashes um, that I was, I don't know, just trying out I guess. They were kind of long for my eyes, but I figured like, they'd be pretty in pictures. And then I just did pretty normal base makeup, you know, just the typical blush and like, I don't know, my normal conceal and contour method which I basically showed in my other video I just added eyeliner eyelashes and some eyeshadow here but I think a glossy lid looks so good on me I don't know what it is but I always feel pretty with a glossy eye and I just took um, one of the Fenty the minis the pink one don't know the shade off the top of my head, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And I didn't really blend it, I just kind of tapped out the edges, but for the most part I just left it like that. And now I'm setting up. I used a 10 to, I think, 24 um, millimeter lens for this, so it's kind of got that little fisheye effect. Blew up a lot of balloons. Got that sign, which was actually really cute. I think it was one of my favorite parts of the shoot. This is the final look. I'm out of frame again, but this is just how I shot and how I posed myself. I was looking, I was using the Canon Connect app, and so I was um, shooting with the live view function. And I mostly just used the um, love sign to light, primarily, I guess. I had lights, like, you know, my lamps in my room. Um, I had them diffused a little bit, then the window was open, but it really didn't provide any light. So I just really liked the pink that it gave off, and now I actually recorded myself editing this time. I definitely thought I looked like a floating head, and, um, you know, honestly, these pictures were okay, like, they weren't my best, they weren't the worst, I, like, I had Panda, which is pretty cool, I liked all the colors, I thought they were fun, did a lot of, of the editing in Photoshop just to get the background straight, not straight, but, like, Put together I guess I was super scared that it wasn't going to save again, so I still saved a bunch of checkpoints. But it actually came through this time, and you can see the editing progress. I don't usually do this much like graphic design or heavy editing on my pictures, it's just when I have an uneven background due to circumstances, like I had a tablecloth as a background. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I had those weird spots on my legs, and I have no idea what from. And then, I don't know why, but the song Candy Paint by Post Malone was stuck in my head the entire time I was editing, so I just figured... I thought some text would look cool. This felt very like Doja Cat, E-Girl kind of album cover to me, so I just figured I would run with it. So I added in some text, some uh, little things, and then I wanted to make it a little set, so I just put on another pose, and I edited the background again to be able to match this one as well. And this is candy paint. This one, I, I think they're cute. I like it. It's pink. I call this one no free feet pictures. So run me my check, please. I hope you enjoyed the video. The bird hopes you enjoyed too. Um, I'm gonna be doing three or four more uh, photo shoots inspired by TikToks. Hopefully TikTok isn't banned in the US. It, five and Below is great for, you know, props, cheap props, accessible props. Um, Dollar Tree is as well. Michael's is good too. Um, but I'm gonna try to see if I can incorporate some of the stuff I used into other photo shoots as well so it's not just like a one and done because I think that'd be cool. Stick around if you like photo shoots like this, photo shoot vlogs. Um, I will, I think I have a better idea of how I need to structure my videotaping of everything that's happening after this so might not be my best video ever but the other two are pretty cute so you should they're very short um and yeah <laughs>